cleaner government, cleaner government, and um, uh, by improving and uh, enhancing the voice of small donors and the grassroots in our political process. Between now and and Fourth of July, we will bring the ACA enhancement uh, legislation to the floor on the June 29th. Uh, next week, we will bring the Justice and Policing Act, part of our democratization bill, uh, uh, initiatives, to the floor. And then before we leave for the 4th of July, we will bring this imp important legislation. We have uh, moving for the Moving Forward Act. And I want to salute mightily uh, the chairman of the Infrastructure and Transportation Committee, uh, Mr. DeFazio, for being our maestro in all of this. Uh, for decades, he has served on that committee. He knows the territory. He knows the roads and bridges. And so for us to say our hopes are riding on you is an easy thing to say. And in that orchestration are many other aspects of building the infrastructure. And that's why I'm so honored uh, that Chairman Richie Neal, the chair of the, uh, the Ways and Means Committee, is with us uh, in person. It's a very important part of the legislation uh, to make real uh, the promise of building the infrastructure in a green and resilient way. Joining us virtually is the chair of the uh, is Energy and Commerce Committee and the chair of, of the Education Committee and the chair, uh, Bobby Scott, Frank Pallone, and Maxine Waters, and I'll get to them in a moment. Uh, but first, let me just say that uh, when we talk about building roads and highways and bridges and transit and rail and airports and ports and harbors, that is so important for us. It's job creating in its essence, but it's also commerce promoting. So it grows the economy of our country. And then again, in this legislation, we're ensuring that all community, and I thank you, Mr. DeFazio, for that. I thank Mr. Pallone for ensuring that all communities have clean drinking water, invest in new wastewater infrastructure, as well as uh, expanding affordable high-speed internet which is in this bill, which is part of Mr. Pallone's committee. And then when we talk about rebuilding and reopening our schools, I thank Mr. Scott of Virginia, the chairman of the Education and Labor Committee. We tell children that studying is important. It's important in their personal lives. It's important to keep America preeminent in the world. And yet we send them to schools, which give them a different message if they're not up to par uh, to, uh, uh, to respect uh, the learning of the children. Thank you, Mr. Scott. Housing, affordable housing, challenges the conscience of our country right now, homelessness and uh, access to affordable housing. We thank Maxine Waters for her leadership as chair of the Financial Services Committee for the, uh, the um, serving under uh, uh, so many in our community with the housing legislation that is contained. Here. And then again, we have something for the Postal Service, the infrastructure piece of the Postal Service, the connecting uh, tissue of our country, our Postal Service. 90 over 90% 90 of the medicines received from our, by our veterans are through the Postal Service. The list goes on, and I thank Carolyn Maloney uh, for her strong role in all of this. So, for these and other reasons, this is a, a uh, just a happy day for us to be able to put forth something so comprehensive, so well thought out, so job creating, so economically uh, uh, growing of the economy, preserving of our planet, uh, respectful of our children, uh, heeding the needs of housing and for housing in our country, and again, preserving probably one of the most popular entities of, of government, of federal government, the Postal Service. So for these and other reasons, I thank our chairman for their extraordinary leadership. And now I want to yield the floor with great respect because he's now in what, how many hours? 16. 16th hour of markup of this important legislation. So many uh, amendments and uh, again, so much experience, so much idealism, uh, so much knowledge 
about what, how to get the job done. Our distinguished chair of the committee, Mr. DeFazio.